Hello, today is a very sunny day. I'm standing on River Road, Edgewater, New Jersey. Uh, it's uh, been feeling a bit crummy, so it might explain some of my appearance. And I have a pimple right here, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not sure what today's date is. Uh, the date of the video upload will be the date. I know it's a Tuesday, though. And uh, they're building something here. I don't know what exactly what they're building. Uh, it's something they've been building for a little while, but uh, today I got finally maybe gotten the strength for the motivation to actually walk here, walk up here, capture it like I'm capturing right now and uh, there's people working, there's police here and we're gonna see exactly, we're gonna show you some really interesting things here that is happening. Over there you have some people working on something, I'm not entirely sure on what they're, oops, sorry, on what they're working, but uh, it seems to be they're doing something with the foundation, I'm not entirely sure, there's a lot of heavy machinery here, there's a lot of, uh, well, it's a little messy though, of course, as you can see there's dirt and mud here, but you know, this is the construction phase. Um, it's also listed here private property, so I cannot actually go inside, but there's also another man doing something over there. Two people, I'm not sure what they're doing. It seems like they're cutting metal, but uh, this is also very interesting, a crane. And it, and it, uh, it's, it, you know, what, what is a crane for? Well, it picks up heavy, heavy, heavy material, and I guess it transports it to the roof of this structure, which I, I still don't know what it is exactly. I, I've talked to a few friends, and we thought that this might be, uh, I guess, a residential place where people rent condos or buy condos for people to live. Uh, you know, looks interesting. Very interesting. I uh, finally got to see there's a lot of people walking around here and they're working on something. And that's essentially the that's the progress of, of I guess humanity, human beings. It's you know, we've been able to build these magnificent structures and hone in all our individual skills together for a serious project like this and you know build it. Builders. I don't know, maybe that's the fascination that's that might be only celebrated by men. I'm not entirely sure, but it's, it's so cool to see things being built, to heavy machinery, uh, all that stuff. Now we're off a different angle off to the side. Uh, I found out that there's going to be 300 units in there, a pool, all sorts of various amenities. Uh, and I was also curious because when they do certain construction projects, when they do certain repairs on the roads, there's always police present. And prior to that, I've, I've been uh, privy to the information that it doesn't directly come out of taxpayers' money when police are on duty to make sure that, uh, I guess, to, in, in case there was something to happen, there's, there's already police present there. And uh, that information is that it doesn't come out of taxpayers' money directly, but when, uh, I guess, a, a construction company or financing company undergoes a, a project like this, they need police to be present. Uh, when they unload and load certain heavy machinery and just in general so no one comes over and tries to do anything deviant. Uh, they pay directly to the municipality and to the police department. Uh, that's in the state of New Jersey. I'm not sure if that's how it works in different states but I assume it's on a similar policy where the police and the municipality would like to get paid for using their equipment, using their personnel and using the personnel's time and that are you know, in charge of maintaining order and peace and enforcing the rules and laws of the Constitution. I already started placing some of the, I guess, the outer exterior pieces of work outside of the foundation, which is, I guess, it's going to look like similar to, I mean, it's going to look like this, I assume, but maybe a little bit more detail, so it's going to be very nice and it's going to be very classy. It's going to have a nice, very classy exterior looking and I can see it's going to be for wealthy people. And I also noticed there's going to be a penthouse. I'm going to try to capture it a little better. For instance, they just closed down the road temporarily just so this machine can enter. This heavy machine could enter the lot to do the work that it needs to do. This seems to have been the transport vehicle for that heavy machine.
seems to have that our machine arrived to its final destination. Oh, by the way, the penthouse. See, I would think that it would be located right, right here. This would be the penthouse. But then, maybe even right there, that would be the main, the main super. No, no, I think that would be like the the skyline. Uh, I guess for all the residents to go up there and hang out and look at the scenery from the highest floor. Uh, but I think the top floor would be the penthouse. I'm not sure though. It looks looks to be all structured the same way, so I'm not entirely sure as of yet. This was the machine that uh, that brew over that that transported that previous machine. Well, this is a truck, and it had a special adjacent device to it where that machine was holstered on and the men are putting everything together there we go now we're done I hope that was enjoyable I hope that was educational informative I thought it was pretty cool I got to walk around there and I talked to some of the people and I I got some information that I shared so maybe one day you'll be able to live in a place like this